Hormone therapy is a therapy in which we use for prostate cancer quite often, but it's not actually giving a patient hormones. We also refer to it as what's called androgen deprivation therapy because what we do is we want to starve the prostate cancer cells of testosterone. We know that prostate cancer, certainly in the early stages, actually uses testosterone for fuel. Now, for patients that are undergoing radiation therapy or for patients that we see that have had a recurrence of cancer or for patients that we want to shrink the prostate down, we will start them on androgen deprivation therapy, also known as ADT. How does it work? Well, we routinely give the patient a shot and that shot actually tells the brain to stop telling the testicles to make testosterone. And that shot can last as as low as one month, it can actually increase to three months or six months, and sometimes we can actually put, even put a pellet in the arm that lasts for about a year. But the goal on this is to actually make sure that those testicles actually don't produce testosterone. So what happens is those cancer cells that we're using testosterone start to shrink. And when they start to shrink, it also gives the advantage of whatever treatment that we may end up using, it actually gives them a boost in terms of making them actually work better. And radiation therapy is a great example of this. The challenge with androgen deprivation therapy is that it has side effects. And it puts men into what's called male menopause. As a result, they start having, or at least they're at high risk of developing hot flashes. They can be significantly tired because testosterone is, is not only just used for fuel for prostate cancer, but also makes a man feel more energetic and also lively. It decreases a man's sex drive significantly. It also uh, decreases his ability to get erections, even if he is interested. And more importantly, it can affect the blood sugar levels and it can also affect the bones. And men can actually develop osteoporosis, which is where the bones start to degrade. So when we put a man on hormone therapy, we wanna first of all look at how long we're going to put that patient on androgen deprivation therapy. And then in addition to that, we wanna minimize the chance that he has any further bone loss. And also there's medication that we can give a man on androgen deprivation therapy that can minimize his chance of actually having hot flashes. So all of those things have risks. Androgen deprivation therapy is a way in which we use routinely along with other therapies to minimize the growth of that prostate cancer. Some prostate cancers are high risk, aggressive and more likely to spread. Others are low risk, least likely to have bad outcomes. The biopsy says cancer, but current diagnostic tools provide limited information about how aggressive a man's individual disease is. So most men decide to treat prostate cancer immediately. Once treated, many men experience serious long-term side effects, like incontinence and sexual impotence. Immediate treatment isn't always needed, but right now a man can't be sure if his cancer is the kind that is likely to require treatment or if he's okay to wait for now. What if there was a test that could determine how aggressive prostate cancer is? Genomic Health is developing a new test to do just that. By reviewing the underlying biology of the tumor, and using genes from multiple biologic pathways, the test can predict the aggressiveness of prostate cancer when diagnosed, allowing a man to make a more informed treatment decision with confidence, taking care of himself with more information and greater peace of mind.